let's take this and we're going to go to the graphing calculator. So there's a whole bunch of steps in order to do this. So what I'm going to do is, actually let's move this over and I'm going to, um, I'll leave this open like this. So in order to plug in the data, I need to go to stat and then I need to hit enter on edit. And I already have a couple lists here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up and clear out my L1 and clear out my L2 by pressing clear and then enter. All right, so uh, I'm going to enter in 1 through tw uh, 12. And then for my Y values, I'm going to enter in the temperatures. OK, and one thing to note is I'm actually just going to do the one, uh, one period of this, just months 1 through 12, because since it's the exact same data I'm using, I'm not actually doing getting any new information by going a full 24 months. So I'm going to stop it here. So now that I got my data in here, I'm going to calculate the regression by clicking on stat, going over to calc, and then I'm going to scroll down until I see the sine regression function. And there it is. So I'm going to hit enter, and I want, uh, I'm going to leave the iterations the same. My X list is my L1, my Y list is my L2. Uh, you can set the period in here. I'm just going to leave that alone and let it calculate for me. And then I'm going to uh, hit calculate. And then here is my, my equation. So I'm going to write this one down. So this is y equals, and now I'm, one thing I'm going to write down is that this is in the form a times sine of bx plus c plus d. So this is slightly different than the form that we're used to. Uh, so let me get down all those values. So it's y equals 6.14 times the sine of 0.5. 75x, and that's going to be minus 2.696 plus 20.393. All right, so this is my equation in the form that the calculator gives it to me, but I would like to get it into the form that I'm used to, where the b is on the outside. So I have to think about like pulling this B out of my uh, of my uh, set of parentheses here, and so I'm almost going to like factor it out. So uh, this is going to stay the same. Y equals 6.14 sine of 0 0.575 times the quantity x minus. Now, how do I figure out what this is? Well, this is going if I divide out the 0.575, I'm going to have to divide negative 2.696 by 5.75. So why don't I do that? Uh, that's negative 2.696 divided by 0.575. And so let's round this out to negative 4.689. 4.689. And then the D value is the same, plus 20.393. All right, so this is my calculated equation. And we want to see how close we got to the uh, equation we got when we did this thing by hand. So if I uh, take a look back, I have uh, for an A value, 6.5. That's that's not too far off from 6.14. For uh, my B value, I have 0.575. Well, if I actually take pi and I divide it by 6, let's see what we get here. So that's pi over 6. And pretty close, pretty close. And then I have a C value of 5 and a D value of 20.5. And that's pretty close to what I have from the calculator. So not too bad for doing it by hand. Um, I think it's a lot easier just to punch in all these numbers in the calculator and do it that way. And so we're going to proceed whenever we have these regression problems and say probably best just use the calculator on this one.